On the dusty pitches of Kalkudi, Coach Ayuba is shouting orders at his very young crop of players. The players, mostly below age 15, are getting into tackles, running around the pitch in different positions, hoping that one day their efforts will be rewarded with bumper contracts from clubs in Europe. He has been in the business of scouting young talents and nurturing them for the past 20 years. In those two decades, he has overseen the growth and success of many footballers. When Milovan Raivat's list of players to represent Ghana at the Africa Cup of Nations was released, two players who played here at Ayuba's Strong Tower Football Club had their names included. Goalkeeper Manaf Nuruddin and Mohamed Kudus. But they aren't the only notable football names Ayuba has overseen. And Alex Majida Shimeru, former under 20 star Prosper Kasim, Accra Great Olympics Ibrahim Sule, Desmond Abuga, and Mohamed Sam. Kudus' inclusion in the Black Star setup has left a cloud of uncertainty over the heads of many. Ayuba inclusive, but he feels his services will be vital for Ghana if he plays. Oh, I feel proud for my, me, myself, and Kudus too because of uh, my, my work, my work I've come through. And uh, all the time I believe that I can get players to play a big club and Kudus have make it proud for me. So I always see Kudus, I'm very proud, proud, proud of Kudus. Kudus is calm, Kudus don't like talking and Kudus is cool. I like Kudus very much because of his attitude. He don't normally go to people but you, you think maybe he don't like people but no, he don't like talking. That is him, he's very good, respectful boy. He's, he's a magician, skillful and, and both legs do work together. And by his lefty but he play both legs. Kudus is a very uh, uh, massive player and <laughs> he's a very good player. Kudus can bring more to Black Stars team. He can bring a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, communication to the team because Kudus like uh, community with the guys. And Kudus is a uh, very skillful and he knows how to score too. As you can see, the way he plays in Ayas, he can do better in Ghana. Yeah, now you see, through Kudus, our team is very big now. And everybody wants to play Strong Tower. The community, everybody wants to play Strong Tower because of the production of Kudus and Majid Ashimero. Kudus moment there, we cannot say we can anything. Everything is our Kudus. Listen to it, self cry. He brought us JCs and booties to the boys. And so we will pray for him. As us now, we need Kudus. Ghana need Kudus. Very, 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 very. Kudus is our, is our us. Because every time I listen to Lai, Lai talk about him. The Kudus moment, that boy. Ghana is, they should, they should watch about that boy. Kudus is not a small player. But we, play, we always play about Kudus. To, to get well and come and help us. In Nima, where he lived for many years before he made the step up to FC Nonchalant, he is the player everyone talks about. He is revered and adored by many. Kudus run these streets on many days, chasing balls. Many of the young ones here know his story and are putting in work to reach the top like he has. Mawai Kudus is a great player. He started from, uh, from, from, the small, from the small team to the biggest team called Ayas. He's a great player, he's a hard-working guy. He's, uh, he's from Nima. And to come from Nima up to going to Ayas is a very difficult task, but he worked hard to become who he is today. Mohamed Kudus is such a great player and also who has a wonderful talent and it, it, it inspires us a lot to be a great player and like he started from us like we played together and also we played here a lot and he inspires us a lot. There's still a huge doubt, will Kudus play at AFCON or not? But whatever happens at the tournament, the love for him in the community he grew up in will never die. Let's go!